Hey guys, it's another wonderful day and welcome to our Nature Hobbies channel. Today I will show you my outdoor coffee breeding tent which results are just insane. I have not changed the water from day 1. If you want to be a successful coffee breeder then after watching this video completely I am sure you don't need to watch any other videos. If you are new to our channel then do subscribe. In this video we will talk about tank setup, plants, cycling the tank and future updates. Watch out this video completely and don't miss any helpful information. Without getting any delay let's directly jump into the topic. Tank setup. I used a big size plastic drum for tank setup so that there will be a lot of hiding places for the baby flies to protect themselves. Now I want to share the secret of no water change that is healthy and well growing plants and well developed bacteria colony which always maintain the water condition as it's natural. At the bottom layer I put lots of regular stones so it will helpful for the baby flies to hide as well as for the bacteria colony to build up there. I have cut the tank from side and put a net on top of it to stop the dirt directly falling in water. Plants All the plants I have used are very hardy and beginner friendly plants. First one is floating plants and these are very necessary because it removes impurities quickly compared to immersed or submerged plants and there are hundreds of options like duckweed, hornwood, hydrilla, water cabbage and many more. Second one is photos plant or Indian money plant. Photos plant not only provide excellent biological filtration for your fish tank but they also grow into a beautiful vine outside of the tank and provide long roots for the fish to swim around and hide in. While photos don't mechanically filter out particles from your tank water, they are great at reducing nitrate levels and algae growth so that you don't have to do as many water changes to keep your fish happy and healthy. The third one is Kabomba which I got from a mud field and this is also very hardy plant. And the fourth one is Ludwig Ripenis and I just planted them all in a little container with some regular soil in it and all are growing well. The other bowl of plants are added recently just before a week for another aquatic plant growing tank which I will set within few days if you want to see the video then comment below and i will make a separate video on that cycling the tank the tank need to cycle for at least a month or two for developing a stable aquatic atmosphere for the fish at first i didn't know about cycling therefore i lost almost my 20 fishes then i removed all my fishes from there and left them in other aquarium. Only 4 guppy fishes survived and then I added some molly fishes with them. I started taking care of the fries and after they grown into adults, I put them in this tank again. At this time, the tank was fully cycled and I started seeing results within a month with hundreds of babies swimming around the tank. Also lots of best snails developed naturally in the tank. From that time I have never seen a dead fish and they are only increasing in numbers insanely. I fed the babies with crossed fish food pellets from the starting but if you can feed live foods like blood orbs or daphnia or egg yolk that will be more beneficial. I fed my all fishes three times a day that is morning, afternoon and evening. I have captured a video just two months ago 
and they were very less in numbers as compared to now. It's the result of successful breeding environment for the fishes and they are living happily. Future updates I will make an update video of this tank right after one month. To watch that video, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to see every update on time. If you have any question, please feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching.